Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. He clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for August 29th through September 12th. We're going to take a look at Hurricane Laura, now Category 4. And this is it. People, uh, plans to protect life and property should be rushed to completion. Today's forecast to make landfall later on tonight and early Thursday morning. You can see that um, we have a clear eye evidence of circulation overall became better. You can see good outflow in most in all quadrants. Deep convection here around the the um, the core and it's now hurricane four status and it's forecast to hit the western gulf coast tonight with light threatening storm surge destructive winds battering surf and flooding rains expected and it's a category four and it could still strengthen before landfall uh, and landfall is forecast to be along the louisiana border texas louisiana border overnight tonight and uh, we're going to take a look at that okay here's the current uh, position as of 2 p.m and here's where uh it's forecast to track inland and we'll take a look at the um the arrival of the winds are probably already are arriving Uh, they're already arriving here as of 2 p.m. along the coast and then 8 p.m. will be into central Louisiana and uh, further we'll take a look at the rainfall amounts we'll go to um, day one and we have rainfall here approaching maybe close to 10 inches, maybe even more to 15 inches across this area here as Laura moves inland. Then we'll go to day two. And you can see the heaviest rain shifts now into the Tennessee Valley. And then we'll go further. Now the, um, it, there's be rain here because this system might interact with a, with um, a short wave energy in the Northern stream. And then we'll go to day three And then day four, we see there's rain here. This would be um, day six and seven. But par parts of, um, let me clear this out. We'll go back to um, the cone. And you can see it attracts now further to the south across the Marva area before it was further to the north. But areas um, uh, like New York, maybe even Boston, Philadelphia might get winds of 35 miles per hour. It's supposed to be uh, 30 mile an hour winds maximum across here, maybe 35 miles an hour here as it tracks to the east. Okay, we'll take a closer look at... Um, Laura and we'll go to tonight here it is. we'll back it up a little 8 p.m. tonight it's just about on shore then we'll go to 8 a.m. Monday it is on shore then we'll go further to the north and starts lifting to the north northeast and then the system brings head it looks like the heaviest rain will be down across the south that's the GFS we'll take a look at the European just offshore by, um, by 8 p.m. tonight. Then we go 8 p.m., 8 a.m. in the morning. Now it starts lifting northeastward. And then it'll be interacting with energy here across um, the Great Lakes Ohio Valley. And it'll bring some rain as it lifts to the northeast over the weekend. Now, um, there's threat for severe and Heavy rain with a uh, favorable northern stream support that's I'm uh, talking about that's affecting parts of um, the Great Lakes into the northern mid-Atlantic and northeast as deep moisture interacts with a frontal boundary that would be moving across so you can see it here. 
and then a trough will dig into the western states over the weekend into north central states early next week and this will be um, this will bring an early fall like uh, cold front ahead of the front or trough relatively widespread showers and thunderstorms are expected from the central and northern plains to the Mississippi Valley early next week so we'll go into early next week here's the Here's the front. You can see we have some snow. The GFS has some snow in the mountains here. And then we'll look at the other models. There, this is the GFS. Back it up a little bit. This is Canadian. So you bring a rainstorm here. And then um, this will bring temperatures of 10 to 15 degrees below normal across the northern Rockies and the northern central plains next week. Okay, we're going to look now at the period for um, August 3rd to the 7th. Oh, September 3rd to the 7th, that is. And we have a trough here digging into the northern states, ridge here, also above normal heights near Greenland. So this is what we're forecasting for this period. So for this period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures here slightly above across the east coast and i'm forecasting anomalies near four degrees up to 12 degrees above normal parts of the plains and near four degrees below normal here maybe as high as six okay and for precipitation for precipitation I'm forecasting below normal precipitation here probability of occurrence is 35 percent then we have above normal precipitation for this region and the probability of occurrence is 40 percent looking ahead for the period uh september 8th to the 12th We have a trough here across the northern states, ridge across the southern U.S., ridge here, also over the western Atlantic, and across Greenland. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here, and I'm forecasting anomalies of 12 degrees above normal, and then below normal temperatures forecast for much of this region here for the east, with the anomalies at two to six degrees below normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for this region, the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. Then we have above normal precipitation for the uh, Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and the Mid Atlantic and the Northeast, with the probability of occurrence of 40%. So we're going to take a quick look again at, at Laura. As of 2 p.m., it's located 27.3 north, 92.5 west. Maximum sustained winds are 40 miles per hour, cat 4. Ebb movement is towards the northwest at 6 miles per hour. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for August 29th through September 12th. Thanks for coming to Jim Lee's World of Weather and have a good day.